everybody this is Sherry with CPR craft pray repeat and I just wanted to share with you I was unable to figure out how to share that file for the sock packaging so I figured I would show you how to make it uh, without any special any really special tools I mean here is the four inch by nine inch piece of paper now this one is a little longer than nine inches only because I'm going to cut off a little bit off the top um, so you could use a punch here you could just round the corners and call this good whatever you wanted then what I've done to make the rest of this I cut this one at two and three quarters instead of three and a quarter because I'm going to put a piece over top of it that will um, give me the extra space. Now, I had originally looked at a bigger die. So, I should have cut this with a bigger die. But then it would have went over my mark. So, I had to go a little bit smaller. So, this is cut at 6 by 2 and 3 quarters. I just used one of my oval dies to die cut out an image that I wanted. I cut this piece at 6 inches and scored at a half and 1 inch. Uh, five and a half and five and three quarters or five and five and a half excuse me half and one five and five and a half so I scored those <coughs> here's the part I think people were a little confused about so I wanted to share here's my long piece and I'm going to do a partial die cut so I'm going to slip this through the the center like that and then I'm just going to line it up here so that it's even on both sides so that I get a nice even um, edge and I'm gonna slide it on here move it up a tiny bit oh, I've moved it hang on let me do this this way let me use my pad as the backing here so I can put it back on and so you want to get your edges as even as you can you know, I should just tape this down. That just saved me a lot of grief. But that's all right. We're going to put it on. Then we're going to slide our um, top plate on. And then just run this through. And we only need to run it as far as the top edge. And I've already went over that. So I'm just going to go back. And make sure I went all the way through. Because I doubled this over so I had... The front and the back yes I did cut it right off take that off and there is the top to this one and this is the top to the one that was cut on the Cricut so I mean it's exactly almost exactly the same in my opinion well, I think it is the same in my opinion the uh, the oval may just be a tiny bit um, bigger but that's it and let me get this out of the way here I'll put that over there get rid of that extra piece bring in my other pieces here I'm gonna fold my score lines and crease them real good and uh, so I mean this is definitely something that can be made without the Cricut and I wanted to share that because I had a lot of people that really seemed to like it and I know I had requests to share the file but just cannot figure out how to get it that way to or get it to you. So before I glue this to this, I'm going to go ahead and attach my my little circle there. And what I did was I did a digital paper, so my little uh, the bones on this paper are just a little smaller than the ones that are on the background. So I'll just go ahead. And just leave a little piece open at the bottom because that's where um and at the top because it hangs over a little bit so i don't want to risk getting glue on my socks and uh, but we're good here on the edges so i'm just going to take and line this up the best i can here a little above the top a little above the bottom in between the two score lines it's done so, we're going to go ahead and get the glue ready to go on the, um, on the first flap. Now, remember, I went up 
two and a half inches from the bottom. I did this backwards, so I'm putting it on the opposite side of what I expected to. So we're at right there would be two and a half inches. And I just fold it down and make sure I got a good seal. And then get ready to do the other side the same way. Put my glue on. And I used to be able to use um, double-sided adhesive without any trouble. Now, I still can use double-sided adhesive. I, I'm having trouble with my uh, tape runners. They are not sticking for anything. But my art glitter glue is do, definitely doing the job. And I live in Florida where it's always, you know, icky out and... Um, and there's just such a, it's so humid here that, you know, it, it just feels miserable. So I think that's what's causing part of my problem is the humidity, but my art glitter glue works like a charm. Now I'm going to go ahead. I don't like the tag that's on this one, so I'm going to cut the tag off, but I'm leaving the socks, um, hooked together. Because I don't want them coming apart, you know, and possibly losing one somehow. I don't think it would happen, but just to be on the safe side. I'm just going to take this top flap off and fold them in half equally. And then slide them down through the top where I can get up here and just grab a hold of it and pull it down. And it worked just fine. And now I will put a bow at the top here. But I just wanted to share with you how you could definitely make these without the Cricut. How easy it would be. And uh, so that if you want to make them, you know, you have that option. Remember, 4 by 9 This one, because of the shape I was using... I cut it at two and three quarters by six, but you know, if you're going to, if you just want to, if you have a real pretty paper, cut it at three and a quarter inches. It will give you a little bit more here to substantially hold your socks in, but that's it guys. Super easy, super simple. You can make it yourself without any special tools. And like I said, if you don't even have a die cutting machine, you can just punch the top with a, with a border punch or just round the corners and leave it like that. And you decorate up here so you're going to cover up a lot of that anyways. I just like the rounded look. I think it adds to it. And I may even uh, round the corners with a corner rounder here on the bottom. But that's it. Really quick, really easy. I hope that you like this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I will do my best to answer them. And if, um, like I said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.